Pretend that was really cool intro music instead of me uh, kind of making uh, grr noises at the very beginning. Um, my name is Balin Fieldson, and I am here to teach you how to make an equirectangular sphere mesh. Um, you're going to use that. Try saying that a few times fast. Um, I am going to show you how to do this using Blender 2.79, um, which is a really sweet program. Go and get Blender, latest version, if you can find it. And um, then uh, it's it's at Blender3D.org. Um, and uh, yeah, get yourself a copy and uh, start building things. Um, these equirectangular sphere meshes are really useful for showing your equirectangular content inside of whatever kind of um, environment you'd like to show it in. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, we're gonna go about this from a reverse direction. We're going to delete this sphere or this box uh, in the scene um, that is the startup scene. Uh, so we're going to control new, new startup file. So this is the um, box that we start off with ordinarily. I'm going to delete this box, and then I'm going to add a plane to the scene. <laughs> That's my plane noise. Um, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and subdivide the plane seven times. Two, three, four, five six, seven, <laughs> and uh, then uh, that gives us all of the, uh, all of the necessary um, complication in our mesh that we really need to have in order to display things well. Um, so after we've got it uh, subdivided, we're gonna need to unwrap it. Um, and uh, so before we do that, we're going to press the seven button on our numeric keypad. And that, that brings us over to this top view. And instead of perspective view, we're gonna switch over to ortho view. It's gonna be really important that we do that uh, later on. I'm not just doing this for my own, uh, my own like fun and sense of game uh, and happiness. Um, so, and then I'm zooming in using the middle mouse uh, scroll wheel and uh, until the area fills the screen and I can really see this complicated mesh for all of its glory and uh, then um, I'm going to, uh, having gotten to this, this view, I'm going to press the U button and this unwraps the mesh. I'm going to tell it to project from view to the bounds of the area. Um, so this is going to give us a nice square uh, looking um, space that that mesh lives on. And I'm going to go ahead and pull open another window and uh, show the 3D view, uh, not the 3D view, the image view. And um, and hey, there's the image of the, the mesh. That's uh, That uh, looks like an equirectangular projection, all right. It's just that it's now still going onto a plane, so nobody's going to be impressed by this. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so uh, we'll want to warp this a little bit. Uh, in order to do that, uh, we're going to hover our mouse back over this side of the area, and then uh, we're going to press um, 3 to go into the side view. And then we're going to hit the uh, G button, but it's going to move the mesh. And then we're going to G along the Z axis, and that's and by 1. So that's GZ1. GZ1, my new rap group. And um, then we're going to make add our modifier. And we're going to do this with the sweet uh, system for searching in Unity, which is the space bar. And uh, we're going to type warp in the field here. It says transform warp. And we're just going to press enter. And it gives us a nice round mesh. And we don't want it to be round yet. It's exciting that it is. I mean, I, I, I appreciate how wonderful it is to have a round mesh, but we don't want it round quite yet. We want instead 180 degrees. We want a, just a dome because this is going to be the outside edge of our, of our sphere mesh. Um, and then uh, once we have that in that shape, we're going to want to press the one button, which switches us, switches us back to the front uh, view. And um, we're going to do that same process again. We're going to press space bar and then type warp, or it should already be there, and you just press enter. And instead of 180 degrees, we want this one to be 360 degrees. Um, yeah, so now we have a sphere that we can pretty much uh, 
put our equirectangular map right onto. Uh, that's all that we really need. I would recommend that you rename the object. Um, and it is perfect! Um, and you can go ahead and save and uh, save it amongst all of the other equirectangular uh, um, uh, meshes that you've generated in the process of making this tutorial. That's a uh, you know all sorts of fun, and uh, and then go ahead and build your game and uh, and make uh, your experiences that are in 360 VR based on it. Um, so uh, visit my website www.thevalen.com or also you can go to www.cosmicorbiters.com for news about my um, full dome and planetarium video games that are multiplayer that you can play with many people inside of the dome. And if they're not already showing them at your local planetarium, then ask your local planetarium to start showing Cosmic Orbiters. Um, anyway, have a great day and I hope that you learned something.